your bean, now pull on her track. Yeah, they get straight from the south. I came up from nothing, I'm not going back. Hey guys, so I'm back. <laughs> And today we are going to be doing an unboxing okay um, your girl been doing a little retail therapy we've been doing a little retail therapy during this quarantine because a bitch is bored I finally got these shoes that I really wanted um, I wanted to do an unboxing because a lot of the time when people buy like designer shoes especially that are in like Italian sizes or um, so yeah um i just wanted to give you guys you know some help some pointers if you guys are planning on ordering you know some drip you know um because drip is for sale right now um quarantine the prices is real nice on certain shit so i advise you to go look now so we're gonna get into this video um make sure hold up brightness is too high before we get into this video i'm gonna need you guys you know what i'm gonna ask i'm gonna need you guys to make sure you like comment and subscribe um i'm gonna need you guys to try and interact with me more because i would love that like i would really love that i would really love if you guys could comment back to me so i could i want to make friends like i want to make real friends not just youtube friends like real friends so please like leave a comment i love comments i love reading comments just do me that one solid please that's all i ask that's all i really ask um i really want to help you guys as far as if you guys okay so i love this ashy part of me part of me but i'm in the house so i don't give up so my legs is ashy but let me show you guys my feet because eight out of ten women have my feet okay okay like i said excuse my ash so these are my feet Ooh, that one crap. So I have, I have, okay. So I am a size 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Psychonaut. Like but if you guys are like me, hold on. I need this shit to focus. So my feet are curved, as you can see. I have really curved feet. Um, so not, sometimes my shoes are too big sometimes my shoes are too small sometimes I, have to, sometimes I have to order up sometimes I have to order down because my feet are just you know um they're odd so I have really deranged feet moral of the story but most women do because most women have to buy different sizes all the time maybe you're not like me but me I could fit into a 5 sometimes sometimes I can fit into a 6 sometimes I could fit into a 7 8 I don't think I could fit into a 10, but I could definitely fit into a 9 sometimes depending on how the shoe is because as you can see, I have wide feet. I mean, they don't look so wide right now, but I really have wide feet. So, when you're ordering European sizes, let me come back. Now, my feet are curved. You see? Like, my feet are curved. Flat foot people, their feet just touch the ground and you, you know, they're fine. But if you like look side profile for my foot, you'll see like a mountain in my foot. So, um... I usually have the problem where I can fit from a size 5 to a size 9 in a lot of different type of shoes depending on how the shoe is. So um, that's a thing that a lot of women deal with. So when you are buying European sizes, a lot of females like struggle with buying stuff because you know they don't know which size to get. Um, I usually have this problem, you know. Um, I really never know what size to get in shoes, especially heels. Um, as you can see, I have wide feet. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell right now just because of how my foot is, but I have really wide feet. So, um, heel wise, I always have to like be very careful when I'm getting a heel. I have to know how the sole of the heel is. Um, I have to know how the sole of the heel is because if I don't, I'll probably fuck around and get a shoe in my size, my regular size, which is like an eight. My regular size is like an eight or a seven and a half. But depending on how the sole of the shoe is, 
um, depending on how the sole of the shoe is, it varies. So um, I usually size up when I'm getting European sizes in shoes. But depending again on how the shoe is, I could size down. So it all just depends on the shoe, the type of shoe you get. Um, when you are getting shoes that are fitted, like you know, they're supposed to be like, not tight, but they're supposed to like, you know, they're not supposed to look big. You should always go a size up. That's just my suggestion. That's just what I've dealt with. Um, you should always get a size up. So. Um, I am a size eight. I'm a size eight and a half. Okay, I'm a size eight, eight and a half. So I'm like in between sizes depending on the shoe. So I got a 39, which is let me see what that is in European shoes. So yeah, a 39 is an eight and a half, and then a 30. But it's kind of weird because a 39 is an eight and a half in European sizes, but a 39 through 40 is a nine. So um, it's giving you some type of leeway, but I would say, say if you're like a size nine or nine and a half, I would get a size 40, you know, because a size 40, you're at least going to have room, you know, if your feet do grow or if you just like a shoe that feels comfortable and you don't want to be, cause I've done this. I don't, hmm, I don't know if any of y'all have never done this, but I have definitely bought a shoe that does not fit me or like just fits me just because it's cute. But I'm just saying like certain shit like that, like it depends on what you want to get out of the shoe. Like if you just want a shoe to get cute in and you want to wear it two, three times, be my guest. Get a size below because you want your feet to look small, whatever. I feel like in high school I was in this phase where I wanted my feet to always look small so I would always get small sizes even if the shoe was like just fitting me. But that's that's not me no more yeah I feel like I'm talking too much again but I really just want to show you guys what to what to expect when you're getting um any luxury shoe um the shoes that I got are the Balenciaga um, track sneakers and I got them in pink um, and I got a 39 and I ordered these from Farfetch so running into this video I'm gonna show you guys the unboxing how they look on my feet and everything um, and yeah let's get right into it uh -huh. I love packages. Like I really just love packages. I got, it came DHL. I got it from Farfetch, and this is how it came. Um, I don't want to put this on my bed because we're in a time of distress. So let me just turn the camera down and show you guys as I unbox it. So I'm gonna show you guys like as I unbox it. Then we'll come back. So I'm just gonna turn my camera down so you guys can see. So this is the box it came in. I'm gonna hide my address. My address, my address isn't even on here, so yeah. That's fine. So. Ooh, this is cute. So this is what it came with. You guys can see it says far fetched. Let's see what it says inside. This is just my shipment info. You know, return 14 days return policy. Blah blah blah. Okay. So this is what it came with. And like I said, I ordered it from Far Fetch. Far Fetch promo your girl because I spent a little bag on this. So this is what it came in. It came in a black box. This is my first time opening them, guys. So I'm getting the official tissue just like y'all. Oh. So this is how they came. Balenciaga Mama. Okay. Oh, they didn't put the shoelaces in it. Oh, that makes me mad. So these are the shoelaces it came with. You know, little pink shoelaces. It came with a Balenciaga duster bag. In case I travel. It's cute or whatever. So that's that. And these are the shoes. Oh my god, they look huge. 
They look huge, but I don't feel like they're huge. They, they just look like a boat, kind of. I mean, they're so cute, though. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. So these are how they look, guys. Oh my gosh, these are so fucking bomb. Oh my gosh, and I got a size 39, which is like I said, an eight and a half, nine. Um, they look like, oh man. Oh, so they gave me extra shoelaces. Okay, so these are extra shoelaces, so that's dope. They gave me extra shoelaces. Um. To go with it, I guess. Um, because they already have shoelaces on them. So I'm going to and look at the detail. And I heard that these are like three different shoes in one. Which is so cool. Like what? These are so cute. They do look kind of big though. Like, and this shoe is heavy. Let me tell you this. This shoe is really freaking heavy so I'm going to untie it and these are them together sorry guys these are them together these are how they look and like I said, I got a 39. These are so cute. The color just gets me. Like, it's such a cute color. Um, I don't know if these are tightened, like, to the tightest right now. I feel like they kind of are. Because, like... Alright, let me put this shirt on this. Let me cut the string on this and then I'll come right back. I'm back. So I'm going to put these on. I don't know if I should put these on on camera. Because I don't know if that's kind of weird. So they do stretch out. They do look like really fitting. Like they look big on the outside, but they really look like they're a fitted shoe. So let me put my... This is how the first one looks, guys. Excuse my hairy legs. Like I said, it's quarantine, and they fit perfectly. They're so cute. And like, I don't feel like um, the shoe itself makes my foot look big. I just feel like it's just a big shoe. Like there's a lot of details to it. There's a lot of details to the shoe, so. Um, it's definitely, um, it makes it look bigger than it really is, but it's really not that big. I think what really gets me is the heel. The heel is super big. It doesn't look big on camera, but it's big. It's pretty chunky. So I'm going to put the other one on. And they feel really good. Like, they fit me literally perfectly. Like, if I would have got a size smaller, I would have played myself. Because I would have had my toes all crumpled up so these are how they look guys oh my god my ankles are so freaking ashy so these are how they look guys they are so cute oh my gosh they are so cute I'm gonna show you guys in the mirror how they look these are how they look and they are super cute and they fit me perfectly like to a T like to a freaking T I'm gonna show you guys in the mirror how they look give me a second disclaimer again guys like I said I'm in the house so I do look like a bum but these are how they look let me turn the brightness up so these are how they look They really don't look that big on my feet. They actually look cute. Like they look so cute and sporty. That's what I like about them. And they, they're so cute. 
cute. No, these are so freaking cute. Like, I didn't realize how cute they were until they were on my feet. Oh my god, they are so cute. Oh my god, my legs are so ashy. Please don't come for me in the comments. Please, please. I know. Let's get it out now. We know I'm ashy, but I'm home. This is quarantine, so I'm home. But yeah, guys, so these are how they look. But yeah, guys, so these are how they look. Um, I just wanted to show you guys. And these are how they look on my feet. Like, they really don't look big. I really thought they were going to look big just because of how the shoe is, but they're really not. My knees are so freaking ashy. Ew. Like, so cute and so sporty. But, yeah. So, and also... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. But like I really want to show you guys like what I mean shoes because of how the shoe fits so um, I'm gonna show you guys some of my shoes so for instance my Birkenstocks I wear a 38 this is a great example I wear a 38 and I want you to I want you guys to see like why because the shoe the sole of the shoe itself is big okay so when they're on my feet Oops. What the fuck is on the floor? The one that are on my feet, they fit like perfectly. So it's all based on like how the sole of the shoe is. My Uggs, I think, are a size 7. Yeah, they're a size 7. So this is a closer look up of my feet, too. If you have feet like mine, comment below. I have super arched feet, that's what they call it, arched feet, and you know what's so crazy? My dad's feet are the same exact way. They're the same exact way. But yeah, so my Uggs, I wear a size 7. This is a 38, I believe that's a size 7 too. My Yeezys, I, I do get 6 and a half, but 7s really fit me like best. But I can fit into a 6 and a half, and it still fit me the same way, it's just more fitted depending on how the Yeezy is too, because every Yeezy is different, especially the 350s. I feel like they're all the same, but some of them are definitely different. Um, my Nikes, I wear an eight. Um, my Hirachis, I wear an eight. So like I said, it's all depending on how the shoe is. Um, everybody's sizing is different. Um, me, like I said, I'm a very, like, I always have to know what the shoe is like. I have to watch videos on the shoe. I have to know exactly how the shoe is before I can even buy it. Like, that's why I'm so skeptical on buying designer shit because it's like a 50-50 chance for me. Like, speed trainers, I wear a 38 in. But as you guys seen just now, I wore 39 in the track sneakers. So, um, I just wanted to enlighten you guys a little bit. I feel like I'm talking a lot, but I really just wanted to make my point that um, if you have like a really, if you have a problem with shoes as far as like how your foot is, or if you're flat footed, or if you're, um, you know, you have more arch foot like me, like just do research. Like watch this video look at the shoe if you guys have instagram definitely follow me too because if you guys need to see the shoe more itself like the inside of the shoe the sole of the shoe just just write me i promise i will write you back i will send you anything you guys need but yeah like i said um just depending on how your foot is is how you should really think about the size that you're gonna get look so that you don't get the wrong size and you have to return it um, because a lot of places that do sell shoes online, especially designer shoes, mine was only a 14 day return policy and I've had these shoes sitting in my closet for a couple days now because I wanted to film it, of course, for you guys. But, um, you know, I would have already passed that and I would have had to sell them online myself. So, um, just let me know. Ha um, comment below if you guys have any questions, if you guys have any help as well to give me if I'm ordering shoes because as you guys can see, my foot is beyond arched, and that's my biggest problem. So, um, I hope this video was really, I hope this, I hope this video helped you guys. I really just want to keep giving you guys videos that would, um, that actually benefit you guys in the long run. I'm really just trying to 
rebrand myself and get my shit together so that I can give you guys quality content. Um, like I said, I'm getting my room redone, so I'm trying to make it all easier so that I can actually be able to give you guys what I want to give you, which is good quality shit. That's exactly what I want to give you, good quality shit. So, um, do I have anything else to say? Hmm. I don't know. I think I want to make TikToks. I'm like literally, I, I literally make lists like in my notes of shit I need to do while on quarantine. Um, but yeah. Ugh, fucking clown. If you're looking for a clown, I got one. There's one on the fucking loose. But yeah, so I really hope this video was um, helpful to you guys. Um, 